This episode is brought to you by Benchmark Education Company, publisher of research-based and award-winning literacy and language resources in English and Spanish, as well as world-class professional development. Our powerful supplemental and core programs give diverse learners the support they need to succeed. Benchmark Education is proud to offer explicit and systematic phonics instruction by Wiley Blevins and important works by Jan Hasbrook on reading fluency, phonics and spelling assessment, and dyslexia. Our content-rich and culturally relevant texts connect children to the world around them, building knowledge and perspectives. We invite you to learn more at BenchmarkEducation.com. Hello, Reading League friends, and welcome to Teaching, Reading, and Learning, the TRO podcast. Today, we have a special episode. We are in the Reading Buddies Clubhouse with my new friends, Dusty and Dot. Hello. The Reading Hi, Buddies. So tell us about yourself. Tell us about yourself, Dot. OK. Um, well, I'm a performer. I am Dusty's reading buddy. And when, when, when we're not together, I sing, I dance, I edit now. I do oh, all sorts of nice. things creatively. And um, I'm from Syracuse, New York. Downtown Dust- girl. Exactly. All Dusty right. and I, we are normally in the New York City area, but we're mm-hmm. home now. New and- York City. <laughs> yeah. And we're making the best of it, aren't we? Oh, we love it here. We go on so many walks. And, and oh, hey, I'm Dusty. Uh, I'm- things about me. Things about me. Things about me. I'm <laughs> mm-hmm. a dog. Uh-huh. And- oh, I can talk. Yeah. You can. Wow. Yeah. That yeah. is a talent. You are a talented dog. Aw, oh, thanks. Now, how, how did you become friends? Well, Dusty's original owner is my husband, Brendan, but he's always like, he's got his hand in everywhere. Know, you know, he's got his hand in everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Got, okay, got right. it. Uh-huh. So, so Dusty keeps me company when Brendan's doing other other things, right? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah we're, we become best friends. Huh? Besties. You are besties. <laughs> well, now, how, how did? Why are you called reading buddies? Well, because Dusty is such a good talker. Mm-hmm. He's very expressive. And um, good. That was a good. Yeah, this is, I, is I, I got your cue, Doc. There, yeah. <laughs> so this is a podcast too. So, um, oh, for everyone listening at the podcast, I smiled really widely. You're, you're good. <laughs> but we had so much time on our hands with the pandemic, and I felt like everyone was learning a new skill, whether it was like sourdough bread or like the ukulele or cross stitching, and so. Dusty thought his new skill should be reading. So we, we read some lullabies to mm-hmm. some some bedtime stories. Mm-hmm. We sang some lullabies and um then and the we, rest is history. The rest, the rest is history. Is history, history. As they say. So you're sharing his journey to become a reader. Yeah, we are. And and why is that important? Why is that important to do? Dusty, well, why do you think? Well, because it's scary to learn new things sometimes, mm. Don. It's scary. Uh, to learn new things by yourself. So but true. when you have friends with you, it makes it a little bit easier and a lot more fun. That's true. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I feel like something that Dusty and I, because we're we're so close and we just love each other and we have a lot of fun, <laughs> that's one of our special skills is making things fun. And I know this past year hasn't always been fun, mm-hmm. especially for like the kids that we're, that we're targeting with our show and yeah. including them and I think we could all use community right now. Mm-hmm. So to share what we're going through just seemed, it seemed easy. And especially yes. nowadays, I mean, everything's on Instagram. Everything's on social media. Right. So it was like a nice way to document what we're learning together. Oh, that's fantastic. So your show is yeah. called Reading Buddies. Yes. yes. And I know that your show is made up of several segments. Yeah. So maybe you can describe those segments to our listeners. Okay, Dusty, I'll do my favorite and then you can do yours. Okay, all right, okay, sounds okay. good. Okay, great. So um, one of my favorites is Squat with Dot. That's a good one. And um, we we do like, we, we realized that so many of the exercises we were working on was yes. just on nouns or, and, and we weren't getting the verbs and we wanted to get active. So yeah. Squat with Dot helps everybody get up And we do little dance routines and we do workouts and um, it helps put it into our bodies because I find so much reading. Sometimes I get so in my head and it's good to get in my body. So I love Squat With That. Um, I love, well, Dusty, you'll probably love this one too, but I love bath time when you you take your bath and we play with the bubbles. I like playing with the bubbles. Yeah. Yeah. 
Bath Wait. time's you know, bath time in general is not my favorite. I like dirt time and mud time. Uh-huh. Bath time's okay, but popping those bubbles is so fun. Yeah, and we go in your in your doghouse too. Well, well I, I don't. Was but you say, do. That's my favorite mm-hmm. segment. That yeah, we go into my doghouse, and okay. all my friends help me clean up this big pile of junk that's always in my doghouse. Oh, we do, yeah. interesting. but I, I so I put away some things, and I only keep out the things that bring me joy. Mm-hmm. It's very like, Marie Kondo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, very good. Yeah. So you're 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 condescising or whatever you yes, say. Yeah, right. Your place. Things, okay. The things that bring me joy. Like one day I kept all the things that started with the mmm sound, mm-hmm. and then the next day I kept all the things that started with the s sound. Mm. You know, so, it changes every yeah. day. So yeah. you're you're cleaning up. But you're also teaching about sounds. We are. We really focus on sounds. Dusty, are you having an aha moment? I am having an aha moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, as Dusty likes to say, we have lots of haha moments on our show, too. We definitely embrace the silly. We embrace play. But I also think that we, we definitely have moments where we just sit down and we work. We focus. And even though sometimes Dusty has to have reminders of mm-hmm. whole body listening and yeah. other social skills mm-hmm. that are helpful sometimes, yeah. mm-hmm. we all need those reminders. Yeah. So we have segments that do that too. Oh, great. So you've got segments that are kind of, you know, in the Mm doghouse and and active segments. Mm. And then you also have segments that deal just with reading. Yes, right? just the science Where of reading. you're learning about sounds, as we said, and you're learning about letters. Yeah, and yeah a little what? more structure and, yeah. and repetition, because repetition helps me. If I do something really? once, then it kind of kind of mm. flies in here yeah. and it comes out the other sure. ear. So sure. I like to go over <laughs> and over and over until I get it right. And we, um, have, we have a reading tool that we'll actually introduce to you, okay. if, if you want to meet her, yes. Alphabot. Yes. And um, she's our robot. Mm -hmm. And she helps us kind of see, you know, sometimes some of our exercises, we don't have, we don't have any kind of visual clues, but then when Alphabot comes, she teaches us new sounds and how to like articulate them with our mouth and our voice box. And Mm -hmm. she, we do some chaining exercises with Mm -hmm. her. We do some sound association exercises. And she's also our Wi-Fi router. She's, she's got, she's got great (laughs) speed. Oh yeah, it's great. And well, she's, she's she, can, she can do like triple duty for you then, can't she? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Well, triple duty, if she learns how to make smoothies or something. That, oh, that'd yeah. So that'd be teacher, handy. Yeah. So, so, um, so, Dusty, are you learning to read? Yeah, I am. Slowly but surely. Little yeah. by little, right? Yeah, little yeah. by little. Yeah, any well, progress is good progress. Yeah, and reading's like that, isn't it, sometimes? Mm-hmm. You just take small steps, and those steps all build, and then you're able to read, and what a wonderful thing. Yeah. yeah. I think it's cool to to remember, like, if Dusty can read. Yeah. No offense, Dust. Yeah, none, none taken. Yeah, but I'm if, a dog. <laughs> but if you can read, <laughs> then we can really teach anybody to read. That's yeah. exactly right. And that makes me think about, I know you are collaborating with the Reading League. Yes. So you can really bring that idea of teaching everyone to read bring that to light yeah. and and this whole idea of the science of reading. So maybe talk a little bit about how you collaborated, how you mm. collaborated with the Reading League to make sure that everything you're teaching is really grounded in that science. Right. Yeah, we needed some experts. You we see, did. Because if it was up to us, it'd be a 26-minute show about me burying my bone, digging it up, and putting it over there, which is a great show. <laughs> it's riveting. I mean, I'd watch that show, but sure. it doesn't really teach anything, oh, right. you know? Good point, well, I, Dusty. And Dusty and I... Um, I think we're we're natural storytellers. That's what we do. Whatever yes. we do in life, we're always telling stories. But then that only gets you to a point, right? Yeah. And then you really need to learn how to do it and how to use your voice, which is our, our special skills mm-hmm. that we say. And mm-hmm. the Reading League, they gave us classes. <laughs> um, they were on call whenever we needed them mm-hmm. or had questions. And, you know, we had books delivered to our house. And yeah. we watched so many YouTube videos videos and we took a parent class Dusty and I and we met some some of the parents and yes it's incredible how how much uh some families are invested in reading and getting Mm -hmm. their kids to read and Mm -hmm. um I was not a great reader growing up so Mm -hmm. I kind of feel like I'm I'm healing that and learning yes um, right you know you're never too old with me right you're never too old to learn something new that's right so you're really learning about the process of learning to read. Mm. You're learning about how we teach children yes. and dogs yes. to read. Yeah. And then that's really what's going to be so exciting when children and teachers can watch this show yes. and when teachers can show this um, this uh, show in their classrooms. I yeah. think that's yeah. really exciting. Well, I do want to pause here because yeah. I, we want to, uh, to um, show you just a few segments oh, of great. the show. Great. Joy. 
Say nail. Nail. Say it again, but don't say ale. Mmm. Mmm. Good dog. Mm. Say soup. Soup. Say it again, but don't say oop. Hmm. That's right, <laughs> Dust. Dot and I are working on new tricks. If I get it right, I get a treat. Say veil. Veil. Say it again, but don't say ale. Hmm. <sighs> That's right, Dust. <laughs> say chip. Chip. Say it again, but don't say it. Hmm. Good dog. Mm, mm. Ka-ching! We're doing great. Say name. Dusty. No, silly dog. <laughs> say name. Name. Say it again, but don't say aim. Mmm. Mm. Good dog. Mm. Good dot. Aww. <laughs> Very good dot. Where's my treat? It's this hug. So, that is so exciting. And I know that everybody's just going to be so thrilled to see these shows. Thank you. Now, I know that you filmed 20 episodes. Mm. Yes. Right? In a very short amount yes. of time. Yes, 10 what, days. Like, in Ten two days. weeks. Yeah. You yeah. To film okay. What was that like? Dusty, what was that like for you? Mm, well, my favorite part was the catering. Every day there was food, <laughs> different food. Crab service. Yes. Yeah. Can you imagine? <laughs> we definitely felt very taken care of, that's for sure. But it was a lot. I mean, for our listeners right now, we have three cameras right here, right? right? Making yes. this all look glorious. And we had three cameras well, at WCNY. Away, but yeah. go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> we had three cameras at WCNY, so it was hard. I mean, yeah. Dusty and I are used to the stage. We're not used to film. So we had oh. a learning curve a little bit. Oh, interesting. Uh huh. But yeah. we felt so much support from the team. Yeah. Uh, the director of production was just, he became one of our close friends and we felt like we had an ally, which was super yeah. helpful. Oh, and, and, nice. and the reading league was there the whole time. Whole oh my time. gosh. Me, yeah. Yes. Yes. Just in case, you know, in case I said err instead of err. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Those are important details. Uh -huh. They are important details. And you know, I can just tell you, we at the Reading League were just so mm. delighted to partner with you and, and to be able to bring this to our teachers and bring this to our children. So would you say the hardest part of the mm. filming really was the just the, the pace at which you had to keep to well, get this done? We've never done it before. I mean, the yeah. Reading League and Dusty and I, we were all new. And yeah. so we didn't know how long things would take. We didn't know if we'd get ahead of schedule or behind schedule. And so we just stayed at it. We yeah. just kept it a really quick clip, which actually is one of the things the Reading League <laughs> reminded me to do as the somewhat teacher is yeah. to, you know, make sure that I had a perky pace. Um, and, and so, yeah, I mean, that was, that was the challenging part, I would say. But Dusty, what do you, were there moments that you felt like you needed the Reading League there to help us? Oh, all the time. They didn't bring cookies sometimes. <laughs> they would. <laughs> no, but it, it, it's a Would that be dog biscuit cookies? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, all, yeah, all got it. Safe. Okay, yeah. 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 Um, dog but, friendly, yeah. Yeah, all dog friendly stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but, and, and I'd try to keep leaving them around the set and like burying them under pillows and things, <laughs> and people would find them. But yeah, it was good because I could talk for ages about bones and treats, and but I, I don't think I could talk forever on like, the letter A or the A sound without mm -hmm. their help. It's yes, true. Yes, that's true. so true. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think that this, again, I just go back to how much teachers are going to really enjoy having this mm. for their students and for the children. And I know that that some kids and some teachers have already seen your show yes. just as a sneak preview. Yes. And the, the feedback we've gotten has just been tremendous. We really so. hope to be a tool, especially yes. in the classroom, but also yep. at home. You know, if kids are sick or maybe yeah. you're trying mm -hmm. to get your kids excited about these tools and the science of reading and you need maybe a different lens to put it through. You know, I know it was hard for me sometimes to sit down and focus, but I think Dusty would grab my attention. And so it kind of takes on, we have this other tool in your lovely adorableness mm. that can maybe bring the science of reading to different to yeah. different years. I'm right. adorable. You are adorable. I can't, Thanks. really. I mean, this is, the, just, just being here with you just makes me so happy. <laughs> so if, if season one is a big mm. success, which mm -hmm. I think it's going to be, um, what do you see coming in the future? Well, Dusty mm. wants a pool. He wants a jet, <laughs> wants lots of things. So step one, I'll learn how to read. 
That's okay. two. Yes. I'll write my autobiography. Oh, great. It's wow. It's the first dog president. You know, I think, I think uh, you know, aim that's high. my five-year plan. Aim, aim high, high, Dusty. And okay. so, <laughs> wait a minute. So you're learning to read and write? Yeah. <gasps> Slo- yeah, slowly. E- each episode, we kind of figure out, we start to figure out what the symbols that make these sounds are. Yes, And then we, what they're yeah. called. Mm-hmm. We have um, an invisible paintbrush that we use on our tool because Dusty is not great at holding pencils, mm. but we use this tool of the invisible paintbrush to make letter formations. Yeah. And there's drawing in the show, so make sure that for our listeners that they have paper and pencils or coloring supplies handy when oh, you're watching. Yeah. It's very it. interactive. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's been, so, so what I'm hearing about these segments, sound and symbol and blending yes. and writing, and then in addition you have drawing mm. and physical activity. And, there's a lot. It's and quick. bath time. <laughs> and how about snack time? Oh, yeah. Oh, there's <laughs> one of those, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's not one of my favorites, too. One, yeah. of our, one of our plans for season two are, like, you know, as far as aiming high, we want to expand the set so that you get to see our backyard. Mm. And oh. um, we want a bigger cast of characters, more diversity, more inclusion. Yeah. And so... Someday, I would love to have a vet, our vet on the show. Now, Dusty, don't, some, don't get scared. Sometimes this is a hot button issue for Dusty, <laughs> but we love our vet. So maybe one day they can be on the show. Yeah. And, and kids, too. Oh, yes. There might be kids on season oh. two. Yes. Yeah. If we have our way, we'd invite viewers to come on. Well, yeah, and wouldn't show. that be a treat for the kids to come on and be able to actually scratch you behind the ears? Yes. Exactly. Sounded like a treat for me. Yeah, it sure <laughs> does. I wanted to mention mm. another segment that you have on your show. It's, is it called Speedy Story? Oh, oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> tell, tell, just describe <laughs> that to our listeners. Okay, so yeah. we have Dusty Loves to Make Up Stories. Mm-hmm. But we really have, we try to stick to our schedule for our lesson plan because it is a lesson after all. Mm-hmm. But sometimes so, you just need a brain break, you know? Totally. Mm-hmm. So we put 30 seconds on the clock and then we have to make up a story about Alphabot's drawing. And um, we just kind of make it up. And they're usually very silly. <laughs> they're always very silly. <laughs> and, you know, we were thinking that maybe like even students could, maybe their teacher could say, okay, you have 30 seconds and you have to make up a story about a Dusty. And Dusty goes to the grocery store, and you have 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. And then it it kind of sparks imagination. And I also think there's something really great about it doesn't matter if it's a silly story or if it doesn't make any sense. Just to kind of practice using your voice and coming up with ideas quickly is fun. Yeah, and and language is so important to reading, isn't it, Dusty? Yeah, and and isn't it the ultimate goal? You want to learn how to read, you want to learn how to write, you Mm -hmm. want to hear other people's stories and read other people's stories, and then tell your own stories and write it down there. Absolutely. Yes, and I was going to mention too. Mm. You, um, you also just have you have a lot of books in in the in the clubhouse here. We do. Mm. So you do a lot with with books. Yeah. With reading to, to reading aloud and reading to each other. Right. Well, yes. On yeah. our on when we're not during our reading buddy lesson, we mm-hmm. don't actually read a book necessarily. Right. But Dusty and I, we do a lot of read alouds on Instagram. Mm. Shout out to the Instagram. <laughs> um, and yeah, but as far as like our bookshelves, they're covered yes. in so many treats. I mean, there's yeah. a little kitty cat behind you. That was my mm-hmm. grandma's. There's some of <laughs> Dusty's. <laughs> Some of Dusty's. They said, said a buzzword. Uh. Kitty, kitty, I didn't mean, kitty cat. Kitty cat. <laughs> I didn't mean to trigger you. I'm sorry. And um, and yeah. And then we have some of Dusty's favorite yeah. toys too. Yeah. All this is very personal to you, isn't it? Very much. Everything's so. meaningful to you. Yeah. It's very nice. And some of these books are just lovely. And I hope they inspire our our children to to have books as well. Oh, it's lovely. some of their drawings and stuff. Right? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Look at set this. Over there and well, you know, the set when we film, we have some of their drawings. That's true. Dad. So if, if you're listening to this and you want to draw us a picture that might be on the set next year, come on. Oh, that's Send a great too. idea. Yeah. Well, we have we have a pen pal um, called Otto. Yeah. And he he always writes every episode. He'll write a letter to Dusty, and we would love if other people wrote to Dusty too. Oh, or, that's a great Or idea. maybe showed yeah. us what letters you were working on. Anything. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, I do want to make sure we introduce, there's another reading buddy, yes. and you kind of mentioned this a little bit earlier, yes. but why don't you go ahead and introduce okay. our other reading buddy um, oh, to yeah. our, to hey, our Alpha, uh, listeners. Alphabet! Alphabet! Oh. Alpha, where are you? Hey, A.B. Hey, there you are. This is A.B. <laughs> A.B., okay. <laughs> A.B., this is Laura. Hi. Hi, A.B. Hey. Oh, my goodness, it's lovely to meet you. Oh, oh, she says it's lovely to meet you, too. Yeah, just go cuddle up there. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, so, so, A.B., what do you you liked about being a reading buddy. Mm, yeah, tell us. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh the dusty. Friendship, the friendship of everybody. But wait, what was that, AB? What? What was the last thing? Say that last thing you said. <laughs> that should be called the Alphabot Show. <laughs> That's the big idea here, Alphabot. <laughs> she didn't say that. Dusty's just being silly. Oh, <laughs> I know, AB. I want to meet all of our reading buddies, too. Yes. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> well, this has really been delightful. This Aww. has really been so much fun. And you, we've really kept a perky pace, to quote our friend Anita <laughs> Archer. Yes. Um, so we've really kept a perky pace. And I just have really enjoyed spending time with you, yeah. Dusty, and meeting you, Dot, Aww. and meeting you, too, as well, Alphabet. And I really <laughs> encourage all of our listeners and all of our viewers to tune in to Reading Buddies. Reading Buddies is going to launch in September of 2021, coming up soon. Mm -hmm. And um, it's going to be available um, on YouTube yep. and on WC. CNY's mm -hmm. Global Connect station. Yes. We want you to make sure to like the show on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube um, and keep informed to subscribe yes, to the show on the do. YouTube channel. Yes. We'll have lots of teasers throughout the summer. So oh, Awesome. Yeah. So is there anything else you want to tell our listeners and our viewers today? Uh, how about you? Go first, Dusty. Uh, I can't wait to meet all of you. Come on, <laughs> join us and, and bring treats. And uh, you're allowed to eat during the show. That's fine because I do it too. Okay. You heard it from the dog. How about you, dog? Anything you want to say? Oh, my goodness. Goodness. Well, I just can't wait to see all of the reactions from the show. Even the little sneak peeks that we're getting, it just, it fuels the yes. whole experience. Yep. AB, mm -hmm. final words? <laughs> the yes. first hundred viewers get a car. I don't think we can do that, AB. <laughs> hey, it's not all from see. people. See. <laughs> not yet. It's yes. not in the budget. <laughs> well, Season thank two. you. Thank well, you. thank you very much, Reading Buddies. This has been great. And, and thank you so much for tuning in and listening in. And we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 <laughs> Wasn't that exciting to meet the Reading Buddies? Thank you so much for tuning in today. And be sure to catch the Reading Buddies on YouTube and also on WCNY's Global Connect. If you enjoy this podcast, please be sure to rate us, like us, and share us on social media. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you again next time.